first one is really easy. Ask. I'm ready for you. Don't you know what I do? Hiya. <laughs> Hey. You, your name and what you do. Oh. I, I am, or somebody wants to know my name. Somebody asking me, Father, what is your name? <laughs> I am Reverend Father Charles Kenua. That's why you hear CK. Father Charles Kenua. I am a Catholic priest from the Catholic Archdiocese of Nyeri. That is the, the priest, Father CK. And uh, <laughs> what do you do for a living? For a living? <laughs> I'm a Catholic priest. <laughs> that is what I do for a living. But my Archbishop, uh, Archbishop Anthony Muheria, most reverend, has assigned me to take care of young people uh, in St. Mary's Boys, Nyeri, as the chaplain there, and Nyeri National polytechnic as the chaplain there so that is what i do in my ministry and uh, yeah that is my work that is my work from monday to monday so parents from uh, uh, st mary's boys nyeri uh, your sons are in very safe hands Moms and dads of our young ones in Nyeri National Polytechnic, your sons and daughters are in very safe hands. You can be sure of that. Hakuna hata moja atapotea. Anitasema kama Yesu. Hakuna hata moja atakuja Nyeri National Polytechnic mwenye atapotea. Unless ajipoteze. Hakuna mtoto mwenye atakuja, atakuja katika uh, St. Mary's Boys Nyeri mwenye atapotea unless ajipoteze. Uh -huh. Don't I love that? Hakuna shout out kwa hii interview pala. Eh YouTube okay name of your channels different channels. Yeah um I'm largely I'm largely on uh, Facebook. And it's called the online congregation. Largely, that's where I have been for a number of years. I am in YouTube. My channel is called Father Charles Kinua. That's my YouTube channel. Um, I am on Instagram uh, for the last, I think, two years. Eh? Uh, of course, it's the, it's the online because it is interconnected with the, my Facebook page. A largely that is where you find Father CK. I'm on, uh, I'm on, uh, I am on Twitter at Father CK. Uh, uh, you'll find me on uh, uh, WhatsApp as Father CK. I have a blog, uh, Father CK. That's where you find me largely. Why, why did you start on this? Uh... Uh, why did I start the online platform? That's a very good question. Long time ago, before I became a priest, in fact, long time ago when I was a young boy, I did have like a vision. And I saw myself preaching to people that I could not see. That was long, long time ago. And uh, my journey started... There is one thing that all along was very clear in my mind, that one day I will be a priest. So then I became a priest and then uh, everything fell back to place, if you were to use that kind of a language. And maybe when I started now seeing the avenues of doing radio work, because actually I started with, with uh, radio work. And then from there now, slowly by slowly, um, I entered into social media. And now I started now in retrospect, understanding what God was telling me when I was a young boy. And then from there now, I started the journey 
in the year 2006, I would say comfortably I started the Facebook work. By then I was a very young priest at the university when I was doing my first degree in journalism. And then later in 2016, uh, then I started YouTube. Uh, then uh, last year, as I said, uh, not before last year, before 2016, 2013, 2013, I graduated from a wall, those of you who know about Facebook, from wall to a page. The wall still stands. It's called Kenya Priest Charles. That's the wall. But the page is called the Online Congregation. For the Kenya's Online Congregation, that is the page. That is in the month of, uh, I think, uh, March in the year 2013. 2016, then I, I opened uh, the YouTube channel. And last year, during Corona times, uh, we started, or I started the Instagram. And I've been on, I have been on WhatsApp since it started. As, and uh, that is exactly what I've been doing. I hope I have answered that question adequately. Yes, yes, yes. Now, how, how you, you have said you have So how do you come up with content, the videos, the photos, the articles? How do you come up? Do you have people who help you? Uh, how do I come up with my content? I must say 100%. And I like saying this because I like to take responsibility. What you find on Facebook... Unless, unless I have cited from, that it is from another source, unless there is some citation, what you find there is my work. And I say that because it is me who should take responsibility. So I write the prayers. I, the devotion that I do, I write them. The homilies I preach on, 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 on um, YouTube, I prepare the homilies. How do I come up with all those things? I read a lot. I read a lot. I interact with people for purposes of understanding what people go through. And that is why those of you who listen to me, when it comes to my homilies, I am more existential than any other approach. Those of you who have done homiletics or the science of or the or the art of preaching or how to deliver a homily, you know that we we have got seven ways of delivering a homily. I we, maybe we can do that as a separate devotion at some point. Eh? But I use the the path that uh, you you bring people's experience, life experience, and then you allow the word of God to address their situation. In contradistinction to a scenario where I would want to be uh, more utopic or abstract, if you like. So I like using people's experiences, what we go through, because I am a believer that the word of God should address our today circumstances. For example, I told you that I work in schools. How do you help? How, do you, how does the word of God speak to a boy in Form 2? who is struggling with a, a broken family at home. How would Jesus address his situation? Uh, that's not somebody you tell him that uh, Jesus loves you and he is coming soon. The word of God needs to address his situation as a broken boy who is not able to get through education because of the family situations. That's an example. Now, <laughs> well, somebody, has, I, I must honestly say that um, I am so humbled. I, I knew I would say that, you know, I, uh, the, 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 what do you call the, the big man bazoo? You know, that, that, that kind of a mentality, not that one. But I want to say that uh, I, I feel so humbled when I have done a prayer and in one day the prayer goes to 
200,000 people. And maybe somebody did the same prayer and maybe got five likes. But I have a prayer that has had uh, maybe 7,000 7, likes. It has reached 100,000 people. It has been shared 200 times. And then it has 5,000 comments. That is the favor of God. I wouldn't say that I am the best of the Catholic priests. I wouldn't say that I am the best of the preachers in the continent or in the world. But I am I'm a child who enjoys the favor of God. And when I say that, I say from the bottom of my heart. I am a priest who shares, who enjoys the favor of God. Whatever it is that we are doing and getting the numbers that we are having, that is only the favor of God. Uh, number two, as a um, as piece of advice, anybody who wants to be on social media, one, uh, avoid getting personal, uh, sharing your personal stuff. Avoid that unless it is, unless it is you are undertaking and your only occupation, it will be okay. But I'm talking about somebody who wants to impact lives. Uh, that's number one. Number two, uh, rise above people's comments, especially those that are, that are a bit uncivil. Rise above that. Don't get uh, angry all the time. Uh, we always say that uh, Facebook, Haitaki Makasiriko, there are people who may say something, somebody may say something that is so quite uncivil, uh, refuse to get angry. Now, finally, and this is the best, maybe not, not finally, but um, let, me, let me use it uh, as, the, as the, the cup, finally. Before finally, please consult books. Read and read and read. Social media does not like lazy people. A lot of sacrifice, but please read. And remember, people know how to consult books and other sources. So also when you are quoting things, uh, try as much as possible to be, punk, uh, to be factual. Where you can't, uh, please cite. Uh, where you are not very sure, uh, make, it, make it clear that uh, it is not a factual content. Finally, consistency. Like I have told you, uh, those of you who have followed my page, if there is a prayer at a three, it has been there for, if you, if you have been doing one thing the same hour for 10 years, that is called consistency. So one thing that helps you to build audience online is consistency. And of course, respecting people's intellectual giftedness asante sana so uh, people are earning millions in, in, in um, youtube yep uh, and you are there with 100 million views and mm -hmm. you don't monetize mm -hmm. what is your problem i don't <laughs> oh mamma mia <laughs> And I'm talking, I'm reaching uh, uh, hundreds of millions of people <laughs> and I can't man monetize. Kwani Father, what are you suffering from? I, <laughs> I am not suffering from anything. I am, I am only trying to be very honest to myself uh, because I don't want to, be, to mix business and evangelization. I know, uh, I remember there is a, a friend of mine who told me that, but Father, you can monetize and you get so much money and then you help so many people. That I, I, I accept. But in principle, I cannot monetize any of my pages. Uh, if in the process of working, I get some money, it is okay. But the primary objective is not to get money. I know because of the work I have done for so many years, there are people who have always uh, dedicated their resources to me. There are people who send me some small money uh, on consistent basis. And they do that because somebody may say that I have followed Father CK for 15 years. So when somebody trusts what you can do for them and you respect them for who they are, there are people who will be able to, to help you. If I'm able to get that, that small money and I have a, a need somewhere, I'm able to help. There are so many children that I helped go to school. 
and so and I'm comfortable that way. Not monetizing, I have no problem. Thank you. <laughs> Finally, challenges of uh, online work. Challenges, they are in their millions. Number one, cyberbullying. Cyberbullying is always there. I have had countless times, even right now, I'm dealing with uh, people who have opened some a page that is looking like mine. Uh, but they, because they are, you can you can steal everything, but you cannot steal a person. And because they they know uh, people know over the years people have known how I do things. If you want to get Father CK, how you can get Father CK? I have my numbers that are given my email. So now there are people who are directing people to help some to send some money in Nigeria. I don't know whether these people are Nigerians or they are who. I don't know who they are. I don't want to cast aspersions, but uh, and I want to say this here: if somebody, if you go to my page or whatever, or maybe you're following a page that is pseudo account, and somebody is telling you to send some money to some Nigerian children home, know that that's a fraudster. So those are people who have opened accounts with my name. I know long time ago, before there was a page during when I only had a wall. I know there are some people who had opening they had they were opening some walls they would share pornographic material uh, on my whatsapp accounts the many groups that i i post my devotions there are people who keep sending uh, nudes on my various platforms those are the issues that i have to to take to take graciously uh, and i i i decided to rise above uh, maybe some of those uh, petty issues because somebody may be doing that maybe to to die to die make me make me digress or to distract me so i refuse to be distracted that is number one number three uh that's number two number three could be people's expectations maybe the, my greatest challenge is uh, i'm not able to and to to reply to people's uh messages instantly uh either on facebook or sms or or even on whatsapp uh, because i deal with huge numbers for example on daily basis one line eh, i am able to get between 1000 and 5000 text messages uh if you go to my YouTube, uh, to my to my to my whatsapp that's a, a, another different story people are there in their hundreds of thousands so it becomes difficult that's my greatest challenge I'm not able to respond to people's questions uh, maybe on a timely basis. Other times, um, I'm not able to pick people's calls. So, and I, over the years, I have made people to understand that at the end of the day, I'm a human being who is also very limited. Uh, and I also have to make sure that I, I sleep adequate hours so that I don't break down as I serve people. So that, that, that could be the greatest challenge. And about the, the last one is that uh, I have to always keep myself updated. I read a lot. I listen to so many sources. I search. I listen to news. I do so much things. So, and reading is not, is not easy. To some of us, it is fun. For example, to me, reading is fun. And I'm so happy when I'm doing my research. But it is a, a huge, huge responsibility. Finally. Do you have everything you need for online work? I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a. I don't have everything I need. But uh, there are a number of things I don't know. And I know uh, I, I would need, to, for me to do some very good video work, I know there are some very special cameras that I, I may need to do quite professional work. Because unlike maybe quite a number of people who, do, who go online, I, I am a trained communicator. Uh, my first degree is in TV production as a journalist. I did my master's in film and theater. So I understand what it means to come up with a, with, uh, with a cyber content. Uh, a content that is able to, to adhere to all the rules of cinematography and photography. To be able to attract what we call the five five star rating, 
we need a very high level of uh, video quality and that level is achieved of course when we are, we are using more professional cameras so i'm still working on some cameras that i may need and a few other things Anything else I want to encourage? I want to encourage priests and pastors and uh, oracles and prophets and prophetesses, all those people who want to go online. I want to encourage you. Please go online and do the best that you can. When we go online, remember that you're able to get more people than you'd get uh, in physical space. I want to encourage you when people are not very friendly to you, don't take it personally. To the Catholic priests, if you are going online, please go as a priest. You know the mannerisms on how a Catholic priest needs to handle himself, and especially in, especially in terms of uh, how you, you wear, how you interact. Uh, th that 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 level of decency it's very very important you may not be like father ck you're always on roman cora uh, but if you are it's better that you're always dressed like a priest or dressed clerically if you're not always maybe if you wear other habits it's okay but um, what you cannot say to the congregation face to face please don't do it online what you can't tell your Christians, please don't do it online. Um, to the other pastors and other men of the cloth, the same. What you cannot tell your congregation, please don't do it online. It is not right. Thank you. But I want to encourage you. Let us have many of you. Many of you, please come to this space. Let us come here. We are going to reach so many people. We can even be able to change the narrative. In this world, please, I encourage you. Those of you who are giving up, don't give up. Those of you who are getting cyberbullied, uh, rise above that, please. Thank you.